I think the most important issue is the COVID issue. And once we get, once we get that behind us, I think it's, it's common knowledge that the president and, and my party took this economy from where it was when, when President Trump took office to one of the thriftiest this country has ever seen. And then along came COVID, of course, and we're in a different position now. But I mean, we had record low unemployment, record low unemployment even for African Americans, record, un uh, record low unemployment for Hispanics. Uh, we had uh, uh, rapidly growing uh, wage and salary increases, uh, historical in many respects, particularly at the lower end of the, of the, of the, uh, uh, of the salary scale. We want to get back to that. Um, uh, things were really good, and uh, I think we need to get the COVID behind us. You heard what I said to the county commissioners. Unfortunately, I think it's going to take the vaccine to get us there, uh, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really optimistic about it, that getting done before the first of the year. And once that happens, we can start refocusing on, on getting back to where we were. We're doing pretty well in Idaho. We're down to 4% unemployment. I mean, there's a lot of states that would be very envious to get us to a 4% unemployment. And what brought you to running for a re-election? I know you've been in uh, term for quite some time, but what, what, what kind of gives you the energy to oh, be able to, I want to yeah. run again and represent the state? Well, when I was young, I, I, you know, I committed that I would do public service, and, and there's a lot of people who do public service. I mean, we had the sheriff here. I mean, people who, who were in law enforcement, the first responders, uh, people who run uh, local governments. Um, I think everybody would like to have some kind of input, and, and a lot of people do, and that's that's what motivated me to, to run in the, in the first place. Um, I started as a, as a county elected official and I saw some things I wanted to change in the legislature and I ran for the legislature and it just kind of went on from there. So, but there, yeah, look, it, running a democracy, running a free country like we have uh, is a work in progress every day. It's like the laundry. It is never done. You have to stay at it. You have to be vigilant. Like Benjamin Franklin said, uh, you, you know, you have a republic if you can keep it. And, uh, and that ha that, that's an ongoing thing. With all the challenges we have, being chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee, I get a chance to deal with people from all over the world. There is no place like America. Nobody is even close to us. We live in the greatest country in the world. The challenges we got today, we're going to get through. We're going to come out on the other side stronger than we went into it. I have the every confidence the American people, and that's who the power belongs to, will take us uh, uh, at the next step. We good? One All right. I just have one more question. Uh, how, how will you manage community growth in the long run? Well, I, I think community growth is, is uh, those two terms answer the question themselves. We shouldn't be, we, we should not be telling the community people how to handle things here in Pocatello, Idaho. You have a city council and you have a, a, a county commission that should do it. I guarantee you, I sit with some people back there who think they should handle, they should be running the mosquito abatement district, you know, all the, in, in their own states. We, we, I have, I really have great confidence in the, in, in the people who are elected to run the school boards and that sort of thing. We had that very issue on, on school openings, you know, Trump was, urging schools to get open again, and, and I agree with that. I think schools should get open, but I shouldn't be telling the school districts whether you should open or not. I mean, that every school district in America is different, and that's why people elect a school board, is to run the school board themselves, not, you know, I mean, it's the, 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 the best way to, to govern is the, is the governance that's closest to the people.